Assumes, assumes its gods are these people. Okay, so this is the assumed uh, <coughs> assumed god right there, right here. This gets this does evolve and gets smarter, but it's not evolution that makes it smarter. It's time that it just makes it gather data and learn, and that's. 20, 25, 30, 30,000 years. So this is this is 30k to today. Or let's say it's 30k to you know to Egypt, so on and so forth. And it's pretty smart. This guy, in its wisdom, is going, you fuckers are all pagans. And you're fucking you're gonna fuck yourselves up, you're gonna go extinct, you're gonna mess up, you're gonna become evil, it's gonna be a mess because you believe in all the wrong things. This guy's pissed. So he goes down here and he says, We need a new we need new rules. And so right around zero, right around the time they changed the clock and created a new era, a new a new uh, age, if you will, he comes in and says, Okay, let's start talking about things like Moses, David, Jesus. These guys are simply touting the fact that these guys are in worship to the wrong mythical reality for creator, for who the creator is. And they need to clean their, they need to clean themselves of all that. They need to start over and stop getting involved in the paganism, the Greek gods, the Zeus's, the you know, this and that, that are actually these intelligent life forms that play games with Earth's biological blob and created, didn't really create, just kind of tweaked it, took a piece of them, took a piece of them. And they're given a couple of rules. They're given like, hey, don't fucking bite. Don't fuck with the apple. These are like basic rules of, okay, the apple, the, the saying, this is no touch. That is a warning not to do this. This is rule one. Not to fuck around with your DNA. Not to, not to go out and try to create new stuff. So however this thing was able to communicate back into the regular you know, domain or the regular uh, dimension, it did. And it probably does all the time. To these people and said, that goes back to David, who is, it goes back to Jesus saying, you know, one God created, whatever, whatever. It goes back to David, who is the defeater of Goliath, who was basically this, uh, what's left of these guys, what's left of their problem experiments or their offspring or whatever it was. He was a he was, he was a god, he was a giant. And so mythologically or not, David defeats this Goliath guy, wipes him out. And that says, look, we're human now, we're done. We don't have any ties back to this. They made us, they didn't fuck with us and everything else, but we need to stop praying and giving homage to this and go back and do all the back. 
get into the. If you're gonna, if you're gonna set your, if you're gonna set your spirituality up, at least set it up back far enough to the original creator and not to the meddlers. <coughs> so then you have, from here down, you know, you have this basic new covenant, new agreement, <coughs> which, for whatever reason, hasn't been re. By these guys, which there's two kinds of these guys. There's probably the good guys and the bad guys, and they're probably both <coughs> in a relatively vile struggle to not come back here and leave us alone. That's the Star Trek principle of not messing with a culture that hasn't already become aware of time or warp, warp drives. Not become aware of it. So there you have the whole story. And as this stuff, as, as these guys left, all of this stuff was left behind in myth. As they were leaving or dying or getting sick or bailing out or done with the planet or done, all, their, all the things that they were doing here and their existence here was becoming myth. And all the crazy old Primitive people were worshiping all those myths. Easter Island heads and so on and so forth. So now when you get this this kind of new spirituality of religion coming in saying, no, you gotta go back one step further. How do you and explain the flying carpets? The leftover technology on the Indian peninsula from when these fuckers were here. They were they actually say that flying carpets were, were the technology used as a uh, anti-gravity mat so they could move Stonehenge stones that were 20,000 tons, 800 miles. So they would basically get these, they basically get these anti-gravity mats of whatever material they were made of and they just lay the stones on them, wall them onto the stone. And so you get some crazy fucking sultans jumping on board. And then you that's the first metaphors and Stuff that's people aren't as smart to make stories to turn teach lessons. People are smart because think about it. How many people are going to pick up 